Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today's session, I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how to create distance to river map and distance to road map using Google Earth Engine. So there are a lot of uses for different types of remotely sensed analysis such as flood hazard index as well as the suitability index. So there are a lot of uses this type of factor distance to road map and distance to river map we need to create the different types of remotely sensed analysis. So in this tutorial I will try to show you that how we can easily create the distance to river map or distance to road map or any other distance map from any specific object how we can easily create using Google Earth Engine. I will try to explain all of those things step by step. I hope after completing this tutorial you are able to create any distance to road map or distance to river map you can easily create. So let's go I'll try to explain all of those things one by one from my code. So I already write this code so you can easily get it from here. So this is my result I already make this type of distance to road map I can get this type of things. As also you can see distance to river map so I already created so basically this type of distance to road map and distance to river map it is very essential when you want to work for the different types of remotely sensed analysis such as suitability analysis as well as hazard mapping or flood hazard mapping there's a lot of uses in remote sensing so today's session I will discuss about that how we can easily create this type of factor distance to road map and distance to river map. So first of all, you need the river data, also need the road data. So here you can see, uh, in this case, I already imported my own river, this is, this is my road shape file. So this is my road shape file. So this, from this road shape file, I want to calculate distance to road map. So first of all, you need that road shape file. So this is it is stored in my own boundary shape file for this study area. So from here I just apply the distance function on my road collection. Okay. So here you can see about this function. So basically this is the distance function. It mainly work for that to create the each pixel in the dis, uh, distance in the meters from the pixel center to the nearest point line string or polygonal boundary in the collection. So first of all, you need a collection, mainly feature collection. So in this case, I want to use the road feature collection, or you can also say about that it's a road boundary shape file. So just I simply import my own boundary shape file in this case. And in this boundary shape file, just I apply the distance function. So basically this function create the pixel in the distance in meter from the pixel center to the nearest point line string or polygonal boundary in this collection. So here we find out that two argument one is the search radius another is the max error. So basically default we use this value but if you want you can also use any other value. Okay so in this case I try to uh, use the value more than 5000 meter. So just I simply put at the uh, 4334. Or if you and girls put it at the 5000, also there is no problem. Then clip with my study area. So just I simply call my collection. Basically, this is my road collection. It's my road boundary shape file. And then apply the distance function. And then clip with my study area. So I already uh, imported this my boundary shape file in this geometry, this variable. So just I simply clip with that. Now I can easily create the distance to road map. So you can see I create the distance to road map. So here you can easily find out that. So if you want to check about the color uh, gradient, then you can easily get it from the high distance to low distance. We can easily get this idea from here. So basically this type of white color, identify about that low distance and this type of, uh, you can see about the green, yellow or red, it is the gradually show about that high distance. Okay. As well as when you want to make the river shift, uh, river distance river map, so then you need the river collection. So the, you can see here I, here I already imported my river collection. So this stored the river shape file. Okay. And further we are just applying the distance function. So in this case I just put here that 10,000 distance. And further I try to apply clip with my geometry. So now I can easily create this type of distance river map. So here you can see we can easily get this type of map. 
So here you can see I just use the two color. One is that a uh, blue and white color. So this type of white color identify about the near, near to the river. And this type of uh, blue color identify about that far from the river. Okay, so we can easily find out that this type of place is the far from from the river. This type of uh, blue color identify about that. But this type of white color identify about that close to the river. Okay, so basically this is the process to use the distance function in your collection. It can be your shape file, river shape file or your road shape file or any other specific feature collection you can easily use and then further you can easily calculate the distance and further you can easily export this map as a tip format and also you can use the other platform but there are a lot of uses for creating this type of distance to river map distance to river map for our different types of reproduce sense analysis so that's why i also show you that because further i also like to discuss about the more uh, interesting remote sensing topic related to use this type of factor so I hope you can easily learn it about that. And if you have any question or any doubt about that, you can simply comment in the comment section. I also try to give the answer. As well as if you want to join my upcoming online training program on Google Earth Engine, this class will be start from the 23rd August and already uh, fill up all of it. Now only for two or one seats are available to get the 50% discount on this online training program. So if you want to get it, so as soon as possible, simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email. So I already added all of information in the video description. You can simply check it. And you can also get all of information from this uh, website also. So basically in this online training program, we are only focused for beginners who don't have any knowledge about the Google Earth engine or recording. So I hope after completing the total seven days online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sense analysis very quickly and efficiently. And you can check all of the course content from our upcoming online training program from this website. As well as when you want to join this online training program, you can get some benefits such as you can get the course e certificate, you can get the all of materials, mainly slide, PDF, you can get all of practice code, you also get the all of recorded class. Suppose if you miss any live training program, you can easily cover using the recorded class, as well as you can also get the lifetime teaching support. So it's very important for um, as a beginners because when you want to uh, learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problems. So that's why you need the continuous support. So that's why we're also providing the lifetime things support. So if you want to get this type of benefit as soon as possible, simply contact in this WhatsApp number, also contact in this email. So thank you for watching that. Stay happy, stay safe.